Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there was a Facebook group member who said, hey, have you guys ever made a pumpkin? So I decided, let me take a whack at it because I've never actually done a pumpkin, but I knew it was possible, so uh, I'm gonna do it. And uh, here, this is my third time doing this, so I already know what I'm doing, and I just kind of recorded this for the video. But what I like to start off doing is to make that circle, uh, just for reference point on the sizing, since most pumpkins are pretty round. Uh, we also want those little grooves that we have on the sides, uh, I'm not really sure what they're called, but they go all the way around. And since this is CAD, it's gonna be pretty much perfect. Although I've heard someone say that imperfection is the perfection uh, when it comes to making things uh, in the virtual reality. Anyways, what we need to do is make that spline as you can see here. We need to adjust it so that it's even on all sides so we can uh, connect it well. After that, I'm gonna raise a platform there, uh, or you could have, could have done a construction plane, but that just feels like it would have been longer. Uh, you make a line about halfway of your uh, diameter, and then you just connect that with, uh, with some sort of radius to give it that certain shape, and it looks like a pumpkin. After that, we're gonna sweep that little shape down there, following that line, and then we can revolve that centerpiece, so that way we can just connect everything later in the end. And as with all things, there is more than one way to do this. This is just one of those ways. So you can come up with your own way. But anyways, what we need to do is revolve that little piece all the way around. Uh, we're gonna make it pretty perfect again. Um, so it looks like a pumpkin, has that same shape, because pumpkins are not just a circle. Uh, what I, I basically just go off of how it looks. So I chose 20 degrees in this one for every rotation. Uh, again, whatever you draw, you can choose your own. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. So go, just go with it. How, however it looks to you, that's how you should do it. So pretty much after you finish that, you hide the sketches so that we can union or connect all of the pieces. That way we can later shell it, which we will do in just a second. Now it doesn't really matter how, uh, how much distance you put in that. It's basically, again, how you think it should look. I chose 2.4 just because that's a regular size for me when I'm 3D printing something if I want a thick wall. So then we just mirror it over. We have that complete pumpkin. Uh, we also obviously would like a stem. So why don't we go sketch that? And we would like to put it on the front view and then uh, just make a cutoff view so we can see what we're doing. And just sketch it out however you think it looks good. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Uh, again, this is just a little project that we do for fun. So it doesn't have to look real. Again, it can't look real if it's that perfect because everything in real life is imperfect. Uh, I forgot to turn off the cutoff view. So just choose sizes that you like, what looks good to you, uh, based on real references, obviously. Then just round off some of those edges on both sides and then we can increase uh, the size or the scale in different ways, there's more than one. Okay, and there's our stem. I think it looks pretty good. One more thing is to change the color just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And there goes our complete pumpkin. Uh, the only thing we could do, obviously, is uh, make a face. Let's make a scary face. And I just like to uh, sketch in whatever plane I need to do it and then move it out. So uh, what you're gonna see me do here is I sketch the eyes, the mouth, the nose, and then after we're done, we'll, we'll just move it up uh, with the move tool. And then we can cut that out as a new shape and it should be a piece of cake.
Now here you see me using the spline tool. Um, you can use sharper edges with just the line sketcher, uh, but I just figured this looks pretty good to me, so this is how I chose to do it. But again, you can do it your way, whatever looks good to you. This is gonna be your pumpkin, so you go for it. Then as I said, we use that move tool. We're just gonna select those pieces one by one and move it so that it comes out of the picture there and it's not in the way. We turn off the section view and we simply just cut away with those sketches after we union this. <laughs> but I did decide to union the stem a little bit later because I do wanna first cut away the bottom, uh, but I'll show you that in just a sec. Let's finish this up first. So now we just simply select the pieces we want. Uh, it's better to do one at a time just depending on your iPad, but for me this works just fine because I have the iPad Pro. One tip from my previous attempts, just make sure that your cuts are not uh, connected at a sharp angle or on the edge of the lines that you can see up there because then it will have a, a Boolean failure. And now I just wanna go ahead and cut away that stem a little bit so that we have a uniform shape in the end. So you just use the subtract tool just like usual. You uh, select what you wanna subtract from you select the subtract T or the minus, whatever it's called, and you take it off. And then you just delete that extra piece so it's not on your way. After that, you just union the pieces and you got a single piece. So, piece of cake. Or in this case, maybe a slice of pumpkin pie. <laughs> and now we have our complete pumpkin. Uh, I do, however, want to see a little bit more contrast so that the eyes and mouth stand out a little bit more. So I will paint over this uh, in orange and black inside just to make it look better for the picture that we're going to make. And as you can see, painting in Shaper is quite cumbersome in some instances. So I do suggest if you want to make this stuff look good, use a different program to uh, paint it and etc. But it is nice to have the color tool just to, for a nice reference. You could make it look a little bit realistic and you know what you're working with. Then we're just gonna view it as an image just to see how it looks like. And oops, I did forget to paint in those eyes. So let me go back and fix that. completed our project i hope you liked it like the video sub if you liked it and boo i hope you got a little bit scared but hey i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one i'll see you bye